because ladies we usually buy things we've not even planned for. Mm. So if you can get shoes downtown at maybe five thousand or six thousand, then we bring them uptown. As long as they are looking nice, trust me, people will buy them even if it's at twelve thousand or ten thousand. So we have to start. You get how much air time do we need? I think let's let's get air time for. Let's buy first. Let's first buy at time for one thousand. Okay. So you buy it. Team Divas learned a valuable lesson in the last task. This time they're being calculative and have created a good pricing model. Yeah. So I'm suggesting today we should do we should do networking. Yes. We buy for people things and they pay us money after as we deliver that. Thing. Yes. Is there any busy market around? For example, I always hear like Nakawa market where you know guys from Shambogo, they always pour in. I don't know which days are some of these markets. After 15 minutes of brainstorming, Team Divas has a strategy and are ready to move. They're going to shop for clients who don't have time to do so. Call those people on the phone and then they tell us their orders. We go to the market and we deliver to the adults. They pay us money plus also our transport. And their destination, Nakasero Market. We are now in, a, in a Nakasero, the side of fresh beans and houses. And the ladies here are very, very happy. There's a plan that needs scouts for 5,000, so we're going to buy for 2,000? Yes, yes. Is that this finest chance? You pick a good ones, not this is small. Okay, okay. Put, you in, put that one. We are now on the side of uh, tomatoes. We are trying to get the best good-looking tomatoes at a good price. Sorry. No one's going to take them to do that. We are now bargaining for a good price. As you can see, there are many people here, but we want to get the good price for our product. Team Zeal has also agreed on what they're going to do. We have made a thorough uh, examination and realized ladies can buy shoes even when they are not planned for compared to our previous business, which, you know, somebody you find and say, I was not ready, this is something I'd not planned for. So we expect to make more business today. And uh, we, in the area of uh, Jewish, we are going to make a thorough market search by making orders. So we are going to go restaurant by restaurant and we place orders. If those who are willing, then we rush, pick, and just pass by to distribute. They head out and their destination is downtown to source for their merchandise. They find a depot for shoes and immediately create rapport with the business owner. We want some good shoes at some good prices. We shall run down, then we retail it. I know there are those who cannot climb up here to you. So you can take her through some of the good shoes, which is going very fast in the market, which you know. So I've seen it when you are selling jeans. Yes. You know, in Africa, Africans, they don't know customer care. Me, I give my customers water, jeans, even my jeans was good. So I'm going to go fast and buy from you that jeans. I want like, okay, you give me one jerry can, but I'll just buy another one. Thank you very much. Let me first support in that. Okay. Then you help me to sell your shoes. Team Divas is bargaining hard. We live because we are wasting no, time. Yes, yeah. just take and you only eat like. Ah, they are saying 2,000. Now, look at me, 1,500. We are beginning for apples, oranges, and pears. Pears. 
but the, the price of apples is too high. We are actually failing to get good pineapples because the prices are very high today and we are just going to buy the fruits that we can afford to buy. Rachel, the only lady on Team Zill, is taking the lead in selecting the most popular shoes that will sell like hotcakes. Can we check around? At this one, at this one, is the only one sell of such shoes here. The others, they forget your meme, and they do they sell expensive yeah, on the lower on the lower level. Mm. So this one is the whole sale here. It's like the people. Yeah, like the shoes are like. The shoes are like. The guys for the Jews, for this man, they are on the way coming. So we should go. We should go. What shall we do? Shall we pick a board and rush for the Jews? Coming up after the break, both teams start selling. Who will make more money? Thanksgiving is a day to gather with family and friends to give thanks to God for all the blessings in our lives. Join us at Kampara Serena Hotel for a Thanksgiving dinner on 23rd November at the poolside from 7.30pm to 10pm. Thanksgiving night at Kampara Serena, always a delight. Sometimes we try. Ask why. We cry, break, and wish we could die. Hope, daydream, window shopping things we could buy. School fees, daily cheese. We get on our knees, and still, nothing comes with ease. But if we keep getting up again and again, understanding that no pain, no gain, never giving up, pushing up, hooking up, with a startup, you stand up, set up, and realize it's time to wake up. Because you are a winner and headed up. No dream is beyond reach. Because DFCU is making more possible. DFCU, with pleasure. MTN Everywhere you go With so much to win from Plascon Do whatever it takes to paint Paint and Win Season 6 is here. Buy paint worth 100k, get a scratch card, and SMS the code to 6565 for a chance to win great prizes, including a trip for two to watch Manchester United play at Old Trafford. Paint and Win with Plascon. Color your world. Over the years, NADS has evolved as the year 2013 saw the launch of Operation Wealth Creation, which was intended to facilitate creation of wealth through agriculture at household level, with NADS playing a central role. So in that, the president honored that and gave us heifers in 2014 August. And these heifers were delivered by then and handed to the youth here in Teso, in Soroti, by the First Lady. 
In this initiative, the Uganda People's Defense Forces were tasked to ensure efficiency. You know the population which is big now, it's the youth. We shall not be tired to educate them so that they will come up with a good work, a good idea. NUTS has plans to continue working and improving the lives of Ugandan farmers and fulfill its purpose. There are so many traffic offenders who commit traffic offenses and they think because they have friends in the police, they will bail them out. This is to warn all of all traffic offenders never to call me or my police officers because it will not work. That is the only way we are going to reduce accidents on the road. We still need your life. You have to comply with the traffic regulations. Trade the call. Every life matters. This message was brought to you by FIFA Energy and NTV Uganda. Are we putting for for the Ogutuna? Ogutuna, we are going to also do TV, but we will use the same no time to lose. Team Diva starts delivering to clients, offices, and homes. Your boyfriend made an order, and we're here to deliver his things. He told us to say we shall find payment with you. Yes. And we are very grateful. Thank you for accepting our order. So the total we bill is thirty five thousand for this thing for all of them. Yes, and the new value is ten thousand. Which is forty five. That's forty five thousand. Yeah. We have change, huh? Yeah, we have change. Thank you so much. Thank you to folks. <laughs> wow, this is we are grateful. Nice. Next time you need to call on us. Let's go to the market and I know someone to help you. Yes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. We're so grateful. <laughs> what you're doing is very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you so for appreciating. <laughs> Team Zeal has picked a spot at the Constitutional Square. However, it's a slow start for Team Zeal. We have selected uh, to come around the city square because it's a busy place, as you can see. Uh, people can pass here very many, and uh, we have decided on the ladies' shoes because we realize. It is so marketable, and of course, ladies can easily buy. Fine, how are you? Yes, we have started with this. And very nice shoes, good products. In less than two hours, business picks up for Team Zeal. They make several rounds of restocking and also make a second display in another busy corner on Mabirizi complex. Uh, we, you get some size 37, if at all you have not yet uh, purchased it. Size, size, 20, size 37, the shoe of size 37, we only have 38. No, what I'm saying is, we are lacking size 20, 37. Apri has just reached with some of the orders we had called Rachel to pick. Uh, he has the 42 sizes uh, which customers are coming asking for. We are buying what? The 
tomatoes. Tomatoes? One. Four. four. Yeah, you want this Very one? Good. How much? Yeah. Banana. You're also buying tomatoes. Yeah. Pineapple. 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 No, this is 3,000. Yeah, okay. I can have bananas. We, I take. Yeah, take. Yeah. Give us 3,000. Yeah. Yeah. Tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Tomatoes. Yeah. 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 tomatoes on the big yeah. ones. Yeah. That is 2,000. This is a two plus piece. Then yellow bananas. Yellow banana. Yellow banana. So up to now, we want someone to take it. A bunch. A bunch. This is thirteen thousand. This is not even ten. Uh huh. Where is the money? She's going to bring. And oranges. Oranges. Are they big? Yes. They are very fresh. Look at this, madam. Very nice. Very nice. Nice orange. Oranges. How much? Nice orange. Nice orange. How much? Five one thousand. Only five one thousand. Okay. Hey, hey. I'm giving you ten thousand. Yes, I have a balance of five thousand. Five. It's possible if you work hard on it. It's possible if you never quit. It's possible. It's possible. For Team Zeal, there's no time to waste on lunch break. Peter, the leader, orders for it to be delivered. We have made sales. We now have no hope of hiding up more stocks. We want to concentrate on this since we are remaining with only nearly one hour. So we plan if it threatens the terrain, we can make a change of locations from here. Up, it's already 3 30. We plan to go back. It's only one team member we are waiting. Um, this is so far what has remained as the stock. We have six pairs of shoes which has remained in the, in the stock. Uh, we have already made sales and uh, we are yet to sit here and we make a summary of what we have made. Time check is 3 50 p.m. and the team Divas is making the final delivery. It's four o'clock and the teams have only 30 minutes to make it to the pit stop, the DFC Towers, short of which they will be penalized, which means losing some of their hard-earned money. It's a race against time. Meanwhile, Team Zeal is balancing books on the way to the pit stop. They make it first. However, the team has five pairs of unsold shoes. I don't see any sweat. Doesn't look like we worked hard today. Peter, yes. team leader, any challenges today? Yes. As we were almost winding up, the so-called KCCA guys came in, but uh, we were just ending. So you sold out everything? We sold out everything. In fact, the, the, the last one got finished from here. And you made how much? And we made, uh, from the total of the shoe, we made uh, 349,000. Just the shoes. From the 200,000. Yes, just the shoes. So you know, that's a total for shoes and juice. Yes. No? For the juice, we started with one, li one uh, five liters. And uh, we ended up with 11 jerrycans, which we were selling at different prices. Others at 40,000, others at 30,000, yes. which brought us a total of 271,000. So your total profits being? Total we have for the 200 you gave us, yes. the FC you gave us is 619,000. Well done, Tim Of the 219,000, when we deduct the 200, yeah. we remain with the very money, 419,000. And you're very happy As about very that happy. total. <laughs> That was the net, yeah. net profit. Tim Zeal, you've done well. But as you now take that envelope with the money, the next conversation, of course, will be with the judges, but you've done well. Thank you. You stay much. with the winning formula of the juice, as I okay. see. <laughs> with my envelope. All right. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, Tim Zeal. Thank you. The Divas. Yes. yes. Margaret, yes. you're the new team leader. Yes. Are you proud of your team? Very proud. Have they done well? Very well. So I'm intrigued to find out how you knew which families needed the food. What we did was to communicate to them through phone before actually doing the purchases. So Margaret, you were given 200,000. Yes. Let's talk about what you made. 
So what we made in gross is 565,000. So when you remove the, 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 inv the investment capital, yes. we remained with 350 cash. Well done. Thank, Thank you. Well done. I'd like my Thank envelope. You. The next conversation is with Thank the Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. NTV, turning on your world. Pregnancy means different things to different people. What would a pregnancy mean to you now? In my situation? No, no. That's why I use a coil. What about you? Jeez, I am not ready. That's why I use pills. We can't wait. We are ready to have a baby. Man, I can't feed another child. So I support my wife to use implants. My land got finished. That's why I even got a vasectomy. Trouble. My parents would kill me. That's why I'm abstaining from sex. Ah. I cannot even afford airtime. So, I use condoms. To prevent unplanned pregnancy, visit a health center to find an option that works for you. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. NADS has evolved as the year 2013 saw the launch of Operation Wealth Creation, which was intended to facilitate creation of wealth through agriculture at household level, with NADS playing a central role. So in that, the president honored that and gave us heifers in 2014 August. And these heifers were delivered by then and handed to the youth here in Teso, in Soroti, by the First Lady. In this initiative, the Uganda People's Defense Forces were tasked to ensure efficiency. You know the population which is big now, it's the youth. We shall not be tired to educate them so that they will come up with a good work, a good idea. NATS has plans to continue working and improving the lives of Ugandan farmers and fulfill its purpose. TV Weekend Edition will bring you impact stories, stories of underprivileged communities, extraordinary stories of people changing lives in their communities, exclusive interviews with people in the news and Uganda senior citizens who've made immense contribution to this country. Your health matters to us too. We got you covered in Health Focus. Ultimately, when I walk into the studio, it's not just about delivering the news, it's about a conversation that will turn on your world. Follow NTV Weekend Edition on Twitter, Facebook, and download VTV on your phones. My name is Shilan Hochari. NTV, turning on your world. News updates is brought to you by Paint and Win with Plascon. Color your world. Over 640,000 pupils began sitting their primary living exams countrywide. 42-year-old candidate speaks out. From the back door, NRM says the contentious Article 102B was smuggled in into the 1995 constitution as senior party officials appear before the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee. MPs continue public consultations on the constitutional amendment bill. Number of opposition MPs who have returned the 29 million shillings in facilitation climbs to 11. And the Uganda Human Rights Commission speaks out on the arrest of senior police officers charged with kidnap and espionage.
by paying plus 100k, get a scratch card and SMS the code to 6565 for a chance to win great prizes, including a trip for two to watch Manchester United play Paint and Win with Plascon. Color your world. MTN Everywhere you go Hey guys I'm about to become a first time dad But I'm stuck in traffic Help Guys Let's help this new dad get to his first born Smartphone Network. Life. Sometimes we try. Ask why. We cry, break, and wish we could die. Hope. Daydream. Window shopping things we could buy. School fees. Daily cheese. We get on our knees. And still, nothing comes with ease. But if we keep getting up again and again, understanding that no pain, no gain, never giving up, pushing up, hooking up with a startup, you stand up, set up, and realize it's time to wake up because you are a winner and headed up. No dream is beyond reach because DFCU is making more possible. DFCU with pleasure. All day long, the teams have labored and begged and toiled. Has the meticulous planning and hard work paid off? It's now time for the teams to meet the judges. Team Divas goes first. Will they impress the judges with their united effort and good pricing model? The second task, you are given 200,000 Uganda shillings and you are meant to go out and earn a profit on the same day. Yes. Our idea was shopping for people who are too busy to go to the, to the market. Yeah. How much profit do you make? I can give you our accounts for that day. Capital was 200,000 invested. Uh, the costing card was 20,000. That is, Cavera for repackaging was 5,000. Airtime, 5,000. Refreshment for my team at the end of the day. They got so exhausted, 10,000. And so then. You decided to really? the money. <laughs> <laughs> no, they really need. You snatched a bit. Which is okay. <laughs> It's so nice. I mean, business, the bank loan. Yes. business people. We Absolutely. Have, Absolutely. We, 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 the bank loan for yeah, we had to refresh ourselves. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now our gross total at the end of the day was five hundred and seventy thousand. So from there we we removed the the, the, the capital investment, which was two hundred thousand, mm -hmm. 
and the cost which was the 20,000. So we remained with the profits of 350,000. Well and in total we handed our... Who came up with the idea? All of us, that was brainstorming, but the purchases and the calls no, we made... No, the first person who brought, initially mm. said, maybe let's go to do fruits and vegetables. Mm. It was Beatrice. Beatrice. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, was there another idea other than uh, fruits and, and, beverage and, 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 and vegetables? Well, they are, due to time, you know, fact of time is very important. You cannot have so many. We tried to bring, but we discarded them as okay. they came in. Okay. And we took on with this one. Why fruits and vegetables? Why not clothes? Why not jewelry? Why not? We used an advantage because it was a Saturday. Most people do their shopping on Saturday, mm -hmm. which really worked for us. Because most of the people we called were like, okay, it's a Saturday, it's okay, you can shop for me. But just imagine if it was a weekday, most people are done with their shopping or just mm -hmm. moving on. So I believe we had an advantage with that. Too. So what have you learned from this experience? Teamwork is okay. so important. Because yeah. mm -hmm. at one point everyone pay, played a different role. Like if it was only one person doing this, I it doubt if the different. person would come back with no. such money. Okay. Because we yeah. also improved our marketing skills. You know we had to read the street talk these people mm -hmm. and convince them that we were going to deliver the best quality that they, they would need. From Good Team Zeal is up next. They're hoping they did enough to be at the top. I see we have made it. Our business idea of today was perfect. We, we should be able to at least uh, be among the top performers. So Peter, why would you sell a shoe that you bought at 15 and sell it at 12,000? Um, that was towards the closure. We, 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 we thought of now, if we are to go back with these products, and we agreed that, okay, at this time we can sh sell this shoe at this point, so that at least we are done with this, uh, uh, the one in the stock. And two, uh, the guys from the, I mean, the, the security officers from the KCCA had approached us and it was threatening to rain. So we thought of, we would wind up with the products at hand, I mean, the stock at hand. Only they say you are quite an asset this time around. Yes. That you sold a lot. Yeah, what, sure. what, what is the trick, what is the secret? Given the fact that I wasn't uh, part of the team on Thursday, this time I knew that I had to work hard okay. and uh, one of the tasks that I was assigned was to market our products and uh, that was done through placing calls to friends, uh, workmates and everyone that I could get in touch with. And they said Fahad you sold five litre, ten five litre jerry cans. How did you do that? that there were eleven. Eleven? Uh, eleven jerry cans of juice. Wow. Um, what what happened is uh, we we kept on calling uh, some of our colleagues um, in the investment club, and we told them we have this product. It's really nice juice. Um, we need you help us and at least buy in bulk. And we're lucky that um, a, a member wanted to buy for one of our friends that recently just gave birth, so he ended up buying three jerry cans for okay, for so her. You used your networks. Yeah, we used our networks. Okay. What did the rest do? What did you do? I was doing the purchase and the deliveries because uh, I, I would also apply... You are the distributor? Yeah, distributor. I, I would also apply <laughs> my networks, but you know, mine are very far, so... <laughs> <laughs> but I was purchasing and delivering to these people mm -hmm. to do the selling. Okay, and yeah. then her? Uh, um, I was the one who went downtown with all of them but I stayed there to make more selection for the shoes because people kept on coming and they wanted particular sizes so I had to run down bring the, those particular sizes. The one thing that I saw that you picked from your previous task is to go back to the juice. Uh, what informed that decision? When we looked at the profits we made from the juice uh, without money it was at a percentage of 64 percent and that was really good for us. It, it's so unfortunate that we realized it at the end that the wholesale would make much more money than the retail. So we figured if we do get a chance and the, the judges allow us to apply the same idea that we worked on, um, it was really good because even if you're to compare the, the profits that we made from the juice, it's still around the same percentage but slightly higher. I like it that you engaged uh, experiential capital. That means that you used something that you had done before and that really yeah. gave you a lot of profit. I also like it that, that you worked as a team 
and important that you delegated. Some people were up selling while others were down bringing the products up. But I believe there are some challenges that you have left out that you faced during the day. Can you share some of those? Well, uh, one of the challenges that we faced was uh, the KCCA guys. They kept, they kept uh, uh, interrupting us as we are making sales. Was so running after? We have to explain to them okay. that uh, we are into a competition and we are just here for a day. Uh, at the end of the day, we shall be leaving. Okay. Who was actually pushing the others uh, to move ahead? Personally, I think uh, Ellie and Rachel were a big asset to the team. Okay. Uh, Rachel having the experience of picking out the, the ladies' shoes. Mm. And Ellie really helped us out uh, when, when it came to marketing the, the fruit juice. Mm. Uh, we really tapped into his network, and uh, many of his colleagues also ended up buying the, the juice wholesale. Okay. Yeah. You had to buy about five pairs of shoes yourself. How do we balance that? Is it a loss or is it because you had to finish the task? Sounds like it's like a training. <laughs> well, to be honest, mm -hmm. the, this particular kind of shoe, I really liked it, and I had to take myself a pair. Okay, Rachel, you need to get out with it. <laughs> How about the four gentlemen? Uh, like for my case, um, through the network, I called one of the friends who sent for me the money through the mobile money, okay. and I picked that shoe particularly for him. Uh, uh, me? I could not sell shoes in Kampala and go back <laughs> without taking for my wife. You <laughs> see that one is being honest. So, so I was forced to buy. For yes, <laughs> it was only one for my she wife. Send him all money. Huh? You no, of course I'm the one who is supposed to buy for her. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I want to hear your. Personally, my dad came and he told me he needed a, a pair for my little sister. Okay. So that's the pair that I bought. And well, uh, Mia was uh, actually buying on on behalf of Donald. He sent through mobile money. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. Mm. Brilliant answers. Very political. Something. <laughs> 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 but we shall go with it. But, yeah, but you're fast. <laughs> with beating hearts, the team face up the judges once again to hear the verdict of all their efforts. Have they bagged enough points for their individual investment clubs? Team viewers, you did a very good job. You are very profitable. Thank you. You made 350,000 shillings profit in Thank the few you. hours you were given. Yes. You selected a very good product, a fast-moving product, which were fresh fruits and vegetables. Yes. Uh, but unfortunately, you did not create as much profit as you should have. That means that you were dealing with a product that needed to be sold so many times for you to get a lot of profit. Yes. And because of that, that kind of put you a little down but still, you come out as champions as the second. Amen. <laughs> so congratulations. Thank uh, you. You did a good job. Thank you. On an individual basis, we still go back to how we score the individuals. Uh, coming in at number eight is Super Savers. Then um, out of 16, coming in at number six is Soroti Women Organization. Thank you. Omukago, you're also number six. And then Bruce, you're at number four. Thank you. So we wish you all the best in the next task. Work hard. Now you know the dynamics. Yeah. Wish you well. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Tim Zil. We are the Zil. How are you doing? We are fine. You are being judged on a group level. And also, we wanted to see the contribution of each party each person yeah into this group definitely we also had to put into consideration uh, the value in terms of money how much money you actually brought home Tim Zill in your assignment you decided to take on retailing ladies shoes and wholesaling juice yes. uh, we think that was a good concept because these are fast moving consumer goods and because of that you are able to make a profit of 419,000 shillings uh, we also think that you did very well in teamwork, specifically in the part of delegation, where your time was managed very well by giving each one an assignment to achieve. And remember, we say that together everyone accomplishes more. That is the acronym for team, and you use that very well. We also liked your product selection, that you did not focus on one product, but you diversified. But not only did you diversify, you had experience in the areas you were diversifying. 
and also you engaged your social capital, used your networks to be able to get your market. And because of that, Team Zeal, you come at the top as the, to as the top team. Congratulations. Team Zeal, my role is to give you your positions. Remember, the individual is as important as the pack. So yes, much as at teamwork, you are number one, there are certain contributions that we looked at at individual level, and we gave you marks accordingly or scored accordingly. Coming in at number four out of 16 that we have, the investment club that we have right now, is Ruharo, your number four. Coming in at number three is Agency. Um, number two is Surveyors. And then Input, you put yourself in a you're number one. Mm -hmm. You really worked hard. We really missed out on uh, the earlier one. Yes, the earlier yes. one that you, you caught yes, up very well. Up very well. So congratulations. We wish you all the best. We hope that you're going to keep up the zeal for the next task. Thank you. And from last week, Team Alpha and Team Omega return for the final verdict. Team Omega. Yes. You chose to invest your money in car spare parts in water and in fruits. These are areas you had no experience over. And uh, because of that, as the judges, we think that uh, one, you over diversified. You should have stuck to one item that you know. And uh, the results were clear. You came out with a profit of 52,000. However, we saw some positive traits in you that you had resilience, that you took on the project until the end, despite your different mishaps like the crushed pineapples and uh, but we saw that 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 derailed you in terms of teamwork and slowed you down mm -hmm. and time was not on your side and because of that team Omega you live up to your name and you came as the last in this task but all is not lost we know that you have learned a lot in terms of take home Please turn those lessons into profit. Yes. On an individual level, out of the 16 clubs that we have here, um, Kinigumi, Sechomo, and Universe Savers, you come in at number 14, all of you. And then at number 11 is Umoja. So that is your position in this task. So I think we need to work hard. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. And Team Alpha? Uh, yes. As a group, we decided to invest in uh, car foam towels, yes. sweets, yes. and table lights. Yes. Interesting choice of uh, items to invest in. And uh, you decided to, you went further on to do a combo deal where you got the car foam and the towels, and you are selling a buy one, get one free promotion. Very creative. And uh, the judges liked that. Yeah. We also liked that you went downtown to Chikubo and bought them at rock bottom prices so that you could sell and make a good profit margin. Mm -hmm. However, we think that your choice of products was not the right one. You could have done better. Okay. The groups that won you invested in, group, in products that were fast moving, things like juice, things like fresh vegetables. And because of that, their turnover was high and ideally their profit was high. Okay. And also, you were bogged down at some point by decision making. Mm -hmm. You seemed not to agree with that, to continue to reinvest or to let it, go. let it go. And because of that, unfortunately, Team Alpha, you didn't live up to your name as Alpha being the first. So you came in as number three with a profit of 235,000 shillings. Yes. And on an individual basis, out of the 16, um, coming in, number 11 is Namu. Number Kakali. And then Geneva, you had number 11, both of you. And then Peak and Plus Savers, you had number 9. So those are your individual scores that will go to your individual clubs. Uh, clubs. We wish you all the best in the next tasks that you're going to have. Okay. Please do not have the ego of being the number ones. Always the underdog can work so hard. You know what? You know the story of the underdog. Yeah. You think, yeah, yeah, they are the last ones, but before you know it.
is brought to you by Just separate yogurts, you love it. Just a food yogurt has fruit, milk, and so much more. Mmm, it's so delicious. Just a fruit yogurt, you love it. You can now become an exclusive MTV reporter on the go. With the MTV Go Mobile app, you can create news by capturing and sharing content instantly. Simply download the NTV Go app on Google Play Store. Go to the end reporter feature and start reporting as the news happens. We will air your story on a special TV program. NTV Go also allows you to watch news, instant live updates, and follow your favorite show from the comfort of your home, taxi, or your favorite kafunda. Download NTV Go app now from Play Store. Do you have what it takes to mess with her? No, I said, how is your sickness? Mm, is my sickness improving? So you've come to see whether the malaria has improved, improved to what? To cancer, improved to diabetes. Do you want to know whether I am feeling better or you want to know whether I'm about to die, whether the sickness is winning? You don't want to mess with her. And Madam, no, it's okay. I was just saying, how are you? You say you are fine, that is it. I do not say, how are you? For you tell me you are life stone. What's this? It's a greeting. I'm trying to be polite. She will tickle your funny bone. Jared, you've woken me up. Switch off the light. Are you stupid? I don't mean want to sleep. You switch off the light to sleep. Can't you stra can't you go and switch? What will happen if you actually leave the light on? I want to sleep when the light is on. What do you want to do when I'm sleeping exactly? What is it? Is that nice? You want to sneak out the moment I switch off the light or what? You have given us homework. You are home. Why don't you just enter inside and do it? If they give you homework, they give you answers. No. So where do they expect you to get answers? Join Anne Kasime in the hilarious rib-cracking drama. Madam, Madam, what's that? What's what are you doing? Um, I thought you're here to cut her, his hair. Yes, what is that? But this is part of the package. The shoulder is part of the head. I'm not stu again, I'm stupid. I do not see that the shoulder is. Is there a hair around this area here? Don't mess with Kasime. Oh, okay, oh, excuse my. me. Wait, girls. Maybe I don't understand what you want, Madam. What did you come here to do? I understand. <laughs> you don't give people speak the truth. I swear, speak the truth and ashamed with the devil. Every Friday at 10 p.m. No, are you mad? I'm are you you, I don't want to bathe. You you're going, I... you have to bathe. I'm what? not gonna... Let me ask you, you think you are a snake, eh? That you shed skin and then you are clean. That is it. What kind of man are you? Do you know how old, how old you are? Don't mess with Kasime. Only on NTV. This is a ShopRite supermarket, which means it's also a world-class butchery and a bakery. It has everything from the freshest fruits and vegetables to your favorite local and international brands at the lowest prices. Like one kilogram of Ellis Brown Coffee Creamer at just 19,900 shillings. And 750 grams of Nutella Hazelnut Spread for only 31,900 shillings. Get everything you need under one roof at ShopRite. Lower prices you can trust always.
With so much to win from Plascon, do whatever it takes to paint. Paint and Win Season 6 is here. Buy paint worth 100k, get a scratch cut, and SMS the code to 6565 for a chance to win great prizes, including a trip for two to watch Manchester United play at Old Trafford. Paint and Win with Plascon. Color your world. NTV, turning on your world. Hundred forty thousand pupils begin sitting their primary leaving exams countrywide. Forty-two-year-old candidate speaks out. Good evening and welcome to NTV tonight. I'm Flavio Tumsime and I'm Joel Kamadi. Let's begin with a look at the headlines. From the back door, NRM says the contentious Article 102B was smuggled in into the 1995 constitution as senior party officials appear before the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee. MPs continue public consultations on the constitutional amendment bill. Number of opposition MPs who have returned the 29 million shillings in facilitation climbs to 11. And the Uganda Human Rights Commission speaks out on the arrest of senior police officers charged with kidnap and espionage. This is NTV Tonight. Good evening, you're watching NTV Tonight. At least 646,000 pupils today sat for the first two papers, that's maths and social studies in the 2017 primary leaving examinations. Of these, 179,000 are in private schools and 466,000 candidates are under the government's universal primary education. According to the timetable released by the Uganda National Examinations Board, the exams are being conducted in 12,700 centers. Scouts have been deployed in all the districts countrywide to oversee the exercise. Now, as